Welcome back. Thanks again for joining us. You've made it to Friday, and unfortunately, so is the snow. We saw some earlier this week, another round rolling through right now. Of course, snow continuing in our central and eastern areas this morning. Eventually, it'll clear out later on this afternoon, but we could see another round of light snow again later on tonight. And of course, those temperatures, they are looking rather brutal today. Of course, those highs in the single digits, maybe some places in Try and maybe climb above zero. I guess we'll have to wait and see. But still some light snow coming down in the Kearney area as we take a look there. Our Vieira wireless camera, three degrees right now. Of course, it feels a lot colder that north northwest we went at 19 miles an hour, too. Not a whole lot of traffic there on I-80 right now. So again, snow blowing. So going to be a big concern today. Here's a live look at that snow right now. Satellite and radar showing that over central and mainly northeastern Nebraska right now. A closer look here in and around the Tri-Cities here on Viper Radar showing actually a couple of heavier bands here just to the east of Highway 281 route right now. Probably around say Aurora, for example, just to the east of Hastings. Also, maybe a heavier been trying to develop there just to the east of Kearney at this time. Seeing a little bit of darker blue try and pop in there right now. So that indicates a heavier band of snow. Otherwise, though, most of that snow will be working its way off to the east and eventually clearing out again later on this afternoon. So this future cast will indicate just that. Again, don't be surprised. Could see another round of snow later on tonight. I think in our southwestern areas, again, could see a little bit of light snowfall take place. Even south central areas, places like the Tri-Cities, could see a little bit of light snowfall again between, say, 9 and midnight tonight. So uh, once again, not in a not any accumulating snow really with this, but don't be surprised to see a quick dusting of snow take place before that clears out by tomorrow morning. Once again, pretty quiet in the forecast for at least tomorrow outside of the cold and the wind, of course, but there are a couple of spotty chances that we'll be watching again for snow again, maybe later in the day Sunday, also on Monday. Otherwise, the forecast looks always quiet for now. Well, once again, kind of been an active pattern here lately. Again, again, visibility reduced out there with the result of that snowfall taking place right now down to a half mile at Kearney, three quarters of a mile at York, also at Hastings, but again, central and eastern areas. Blowing snow will be a concern today. If you have plans to travel, definitely take it easy on the roads and just use caution. Check Nebraska 511 for all the latest updates on the road conditions as well. Also, have still some advisories, some warnings in place. Again, winter weather advisory in place till noon central time there for many of our central areas again. Winter storm warning still remains in place for many, again, some central, mainly eastern areas, though. Uh, places like Grand Island Hastings, this winter storm warning in place till 3. Of course, you guys were actually added into the winter storm warning late last night. A winter storm warning, again, still in place for many of our easternmost counties. That in place till 9. So, again, difficult travel conditions, especially the farther east you go. So, beware of that. Wind chill advisory after the snow gets done, the colds are going to be our big concern. Again, wind chill advisory in place till 6 for many of our areas tonight. Once that expires, we'll see a wind chill warning take over from there. Again, this in effect till noon Tuesday for all of our coverage area now, even later uh, Tuesday morning. Again, Republic County, Kansas there. Wind chills of 40 to 50 degrees below zero are going to be possible with this uh, incoming cold, and it's going to stick around for a few days. So brace yourself now. Of course, this is the type of cold that can pi burst pipes, and if you can get frostbite, just a few minutes. So dress warm if you absolutely have to go outside. Otherwise, stay inside. A good recommendation. Temperatures right now, they're cold enough. One below at Ainsworth, six below at Ogallala. The rest of us in the single digits right now. You factor in these winds out of the north, 15 to 25 in most places, a little stronger than Hastings to 26, a little wider though off to our west. Uh, once again, wind chills, they're 20 below, even colder in some spots, 20 below at Grand Island, 21 below it feels like at Hastings, O'Neill, 24 below at Ainsworth. And this is just the beginning of a cold stretch the next couple of days. So brace yourself now. Seven degrees again for a high today. We get to see a chance of snow this morning. Otherwise, just cold and windy, more blowing snow as well. So a slight chance of snow tonight. We'll see a low around 11 below. Again, more wind blowing snow and more extreme cold. Again, tomorrow looks brutal. Six below for a high here in the Tri-Cities. And some areas farther north, even colder. Again, more areas blowing snow. Again, just very windy as well and cold. Temperatures today, single digits, some teens, maybe some little 20s to our southwest. Temps back down tonight between 5 and 15 below. Actual air temperatures, those wind chills probably... 30 below at the very minimum for some places. And again, highs tomorrow just look rough. Again, 5 to 15 degrees below zero for highs tomorrow. How about a high of 12 below at Ainsworth tomorrow? It's going to be a cold stretch. Again, we haven't seen cold like this for quite some time. Code red days in place the next several days. We may not make it above zero again until Tuesday. How about a low of 19 below? 
again, Sunday morning. It's going to be a rough stretch here. We do get a little warmer by Wednesday, but again, of course, the tail end of next week, Sarah, could see another uh, Arctic blast. Not quite as cold as this, I don't think, but uh, still not out of the woods just yet. Yeah, and we look at that negative 19, but that's not even close to the wind chills. Yeah, the wind chills, again, 40 to 50 below. It's going to be, you know, this is, you can get frostbite in just like 10 minutes, I do believe. Yeah. So, yeah, if you do have to go outside, dress warm and, uh, yeah, stay inside. How about that? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> go, keep going back inside if you yeah, have to go, if you sure. really have to go outside. Absolutely. Thanks, Cal. All right.